Would you like me to replace the original opening with this and keep the rest as is? Hey Sam here! Welcome back to the channel! If you love unpacking the latest tech updates and hidden gems, go ahead and like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe so you never miss out on the freshest scoop. Samsung's One UI 8.0 beta has officially landed but only for the Galaxy S25 series, at least for now. It's packed with cool new features that could seriously level up your daily phone game. But, as with any beta, it's not all smooth sailing. Some core customization tools, like several good lock modules you might rely on to tweak your phone's look and feel, are currently on pause. Five modules like Home Up, Quick Star, and Multi Star have hit glitches, while 10 others are still working fine. So if you're a fan of those deep customizations, it might be smart to wait a bit before diving in. Here's a bigger heads up if you use Google Wallet. The beta seems to be breaking tap to pay, and in some cases, the app just won't work at all. If you use your phone for contactless payments or banking apps daily, this could cause major headaches. Past beta experiences show that some banking apps might act up, so it's definitely a cautious zone for now. Now let's talk about the good stuff. One UI 8.0 supercharges Samsung's modes and routines with fresh then actions that make automating your phone's behavior way more powerful. Want your phone to create a to-do list automatically when you plug in the charger at night? Or open your calendar at 9 a.m. every weekday to show your schedule? You can now do that and more. It's like having a personal assistant that reacts to your habits without you lifting a finger. Imagine if Google and Samsung teamed up to bring this level of automation to all Android phones, not just Samsung's. It could be a game changer, putting serious pressure on Apple's Shortcuts app. Given their recent partnerships on features like Quick Share and Wear OS, this could be closer than you think. Design-wise, One UI 8 sports a sleek new sharing menu with a cool frosted glass look that makes switching between personal and secure folder sharing seamless. Quick Share got a facelift too, with a fresh card-style interface that makes sending and receiving files smoother and more intuitive. Multitasking is cleaner and more flexible now, with the ability to stretch split-screen apps all the way to the edge, no more annoying divider limits. Pop-up windows have rounded corners and smoother animations that just feel nicer to use. Plus, the new predictive back gesture shows a sneak peek of the previous screen, making navigation feel more polished. Camera controls got a smart update as well. You can now customize swipe gestures inside the camera app to switch cameras or bring up controls the way you prefer, making snapping photos more fluid. The secure folder is beefed up with new privacy settings, letting you close all apps when you lock it or hide the folder itself for extra security. Samsung is really focusing on keeping your private stuff private. Audio fans will love the new AutoCast feature, which lets you broadcast audio to multiple devices at once. You can even share a QR code so friends can join the party and listen in perfect for group hangouts. On the lock screen, widgets got bigger and easier to read, with new animated clock styles and dynamic wallpapers that change color throughout the day, giving your phone a fresh look that adapts to your mood. Battery management is smarter too. One UI 8 offers adaptive protection, which stops charging at 80% overnight and finishes before you wake up, helping your battery stay healthy longer. Last but not least, the Gallery app's photo editor got two game-changing upgrades. Background blur transitions are now silky smooth, and you can instantly compare your edited photo with the original by pressing and holding the image, no more fiddling with undo buttons. If you're rocking a Galaxy S25 and snag the beta invite, congrats. If not, keep an eye on the Samsung Members app. Spots might open up soon. Samsung is also gearing up to roll this out to Galaxy S22 and S23 users shortly. That's the scoop on One UI 8.0 so far. If you found this update helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you won't miss the latest Samsung news and tips. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you in the next video.